one's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review continuing on with our Mandalorian retro figures. We're taking a look at IG-11, the fantastic IG-11. I actually really like the card back. I'm looking forward to like a good vintage collection version without this horrible sticker on it. Uh, the figure, it looks cool, very much like the, uh, the original IG-88. Um, same weapons, very sort of similar looking design. Uh, I will try to remember to grab the original IG-88 and uh, do a little side-by-side -side between the two because uh, yeah, IG-11 is fantastic and I'd love to compare the two side-by-side. -side. I think they look great together. Um, so yeah, let's crack open IG-11 and take a look. All right, guys, here is IG-11, the bounty droid from The Mandalorian. What an absolutely cool looking vintage style action figure this is cool really love ig11 i think he's a fantastic character um yeah very very similar in terms of sculpt with ig88 the original kenner version of ig88 very very similar um it is a new sculpt um they haven't done anything the same you know it's it's it looks similar it looks like they're meant to be together um but yeah for the most part it is a for the whole thing it is a brand new sculpt so that's that's it's nice that they're still sort of paying homage and uh yet still kind of doing something new it does come with two weapons it comes with this sort of bigger pulse rifle which is great looks good and he does come with this sort of it was the old sort of based on the old stormtrooper rifles stormtrooper blasters you know, that was the vintage style of them. So we're going to try and put him in his hands. Now the hands on this one, they're quite thick. So they've got nice amount of strength in them, which is great. So hopefully he won't have any dramas holding on. That's so far so good with that one. And uh, yeah, this one... There we go. That works too. So there we go. Stands up nicely too. And here he is next to IG-88. You kind of see very similar. Pretty much the same height. It's very similar in sculpt. Obviously the uh, sort of main torso here with the different sort of belts. He's sort of got the cross ammunition belt, whereas he's only got the one. Let's see, very, very similar. We go on the back there. I'm going to put the uh, 1980 LFL logo there on his back. Whereas here, they've done it on IG-11's foot. But yeah, really, really cool stuff. Nice to see these two boys together. They look fantastic. So yeah, really, really thrilled with this one. He looks great. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please send out down in the comments below. If you like this review slash video, give it a little thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you uh, haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Next one coming up is, we'll finish up my retro collection because I didn't get the Remnant Stormtrooper. It'll be Moff Gideon. So I'm really, really excited to crack him open and take a look. So we'll be doing that in the next video. So like I said, stay tuned. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you. Always.